Really excited to uh, to show you this game. I've been playing the uh, Trumpovsky attack. Um, it's a system that is easy to memorize at my level. It's it's got only uh, three moves to remember. <laughs> Just kidding. But in a way, um, it leads to very creative uh, play, and um, there's not a lot to learn actually to be really booked up on it. Um, because most people will will respond in in um, in a similar way so the first few moves are always uh, almost the same and predictable and uh, your response as white is also um, easy and logical and so in a way you can you can face a lot of uh, different players at our level that you know I'm in 1300 rating um, and and have fun and be very creative. Oh, so Trumpovsky, even though it sounds uh, Russian, was a Brazilian grandmaster, and uh, this attack was named after him because he popularized it, and um, it's very potent, um, as you'll see. So here's how the game uh, went. Um, I started with um, d4. Uh, most people here will play d5 as a response, but the second best response is what this guy played. It's um, it's is to bring out the uh, the knight right away uh, on, on on f6. Uh, so then I played uh, the Trumpovsky, uh, which consists of bringing the uh, the bishop right there on g5 and. Um, then he played uh, the move order that should have been uh, the other way, but still we're we're still in the uh, in the theory. <laughs> but you'll see it's not a big theory because uh, here we go. I take uh, here, and the idea is to double up the pawns and and create a very creative uh, play while stifling uh, black. And at least taking uh, black out of uh, preparation all the time because you know, as you know, uh, most people always play the uh, the Indian or the Nimzo Indian defense, and uh, so it, it it kind of kicks them out of their comfort zone right away. And um, here um, the move is e3, and that's it. That's the theory right there. I'm. Um, I, I, I'm told by chess.com, you know, that this is the uh, Trumpovsky attack right right there. And um, we go, he plays this. Um, then I respond bringing out the knight. And it's still considered um, an excellent move, but it's not the best. C4 would have been best. Here um, he castles, which is good. Then I play the uh, the best move um, he should have taken but um, what he did is also uh, considered uh, excellent then I take then he takes and uh, as you can see there's a lot of uh, potential here for for creative play because it looks at looks right now like the um, I mean white is coming out of the first few moves with an advantage uh, it's not much but it's still an advantage and uh, um, here's the uh, the move I played to to start challenging this pawn at the center and take control of the center of the board here's what he played I don't know why he played this actually. Uh, what was his intention? I don't know. Um, here I bring the queen out because I see um, I target a pawn right there that's uh, available on b7. And uh, I put some pressure also on the, um, the d, uh, d5 pawn at, in the center of the board. 
here is another strange move uh, that the engine doesn't really like. Um, you see, we, we should have played B E six on his on his um, previous move. Um, then I take the pawn. It's free. Why not? You know, it's uh, <laughs> it's always interesting to to score here some uh, some some pawns and uh, look at the advantage now it's it's plus 2.53 for uh, for white right away so uh, within a few moves um, then he picks the best move for um, the defense um, and here I take another free pawn and uh, we see stay at 2.53 even though I just took a pawn um, here finally he brings his bishop down to uh, to e6 and um, uh, you know I start running away because I need to find a safe square uh, for the queen now is another questionable move um, because he's all clogged up right there. I don't know why he played this. Uh, um, then I just take the advantage by going forward with the um, d4, d5 pawn. He plays a really good move, um, challenging my, my queen and sort of uh, avoiding the... Um, the threat on, on, on his bishop. So here it's very logical. Um, that's the only alternative, I think. And uh, he keeps going to this square. He really likes this square. He must have learned something about this, but um, it's considered an excellent move, but uh, c8 uh, would have been much better. Now I put pressure on the rook. Um, and here, um, again, um, the engine prefers bishop d6, I castle, here um, he plays a really good move, I create some pressure here on on the uh, d file because the idea is to uh, is to bring the pawn forward and and you know capture the bishop because he, it's it's his bishop doesn't have much uh, room actually uh, yeah he should have blocked the pawn with his bishop he moves his queen I don't know why so I take the opportunity uh, to to put some pressure. Oh yeah, he moved his queen to give a square to the bishop. So he's playing really defensively. Um, so he takes, well, as far as I'm concerned, it's, that's a free piece. Uh, so I take it. Uh, he decides to, um, to trade, but uh, look at the evaluation here. I'm uh, plus 6.55 already. Uh, because there's so much room for white here um, there's so many uh, so many moves that white can play to to put black in trouble um, here he moves his rook here then I double up I should have played the uh, knight on um, d4 uh, creating pressure on on the uh, on the white bishop here he didn't play the right move. Yeah, I, I knew that he could have played c2, but uh, I would have played uh, d2. Um, so here is uh, inaccuracy on my part. Um, I'm losing some points here, <laughs> but still there's a lot of margin uh, to compensate errors that are done at my level. At least I didn't blunder, which is uh, good if I can keep it up, you know, up to the end of the... Of the game then I'll be I'll be fine and here he plays a really good move he takes uh, my guy out I go back and I t move the pawn not much choice there it's kind of forced so here again he puts uh, pressure on my rook and my knight and uh, his idea is to double up my pawns in front of the king here um, I, I thought you know let's let's put some pressure on 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 the rook 
and so it leads to a very cool uh, sequence here um, then um, I get an exclamation mark for uh, for this move for obvious reasons I'm winning material here look at this this is kind of nice so um, here he responds by playing a, a very good move now I go back protecting the pawn but I should have taken his pawn actually to to free up um, a line right to uh, queen promotion here um, interesting he didn't he played a good move but not the best I gave myself some space but I was hesitating between playing uh, f1 and, and h3 uh, I finally pick h3 but f1 I think would have been better uh, next time I'll remember that it's a really good alternative um, now he plays the very good move again putting pressure on my a2 pawn um, easy to deflect right and um, again he wants to uh, to get this pawn finally I think I'll give it to him but I'll protect it one more time um, here um, he's putting pressure on both pawns so let's go and promote this yeah I should have played uh, c4 here we go protecting the pawn to free up the rook and then let's go full steam ahead I don't mind trading because um, I think it's pretty good to have uh, two pawns like this <laughs> in the center I think I should be able to uh, to get a queen out of that and uh, here I'm, I'm playing a good sequence of moves um, interesting I'm always getting the best move uh, out of the situation because here obviously I said to myself here if he takes uh, c5 then I can run away on the d file and, and get my queen so he's kind of stuck he has to go back with with his king and try to protect these uh, promotion square on on the uh, you know on, on c8 and d8 so he goes back it's uh, the engine loves it um, I start bringing the king because I think I need more firepower and it's always a good idea at the end to bring your uh, your king to the center he's um, he's kind of desperate so he's, he's trying to uh, bully his pawns uh, and and you know and favor a clash with my 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 pawns and force me to to stay behind but I think I, I see uh, a very good occasion on 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 the front line to to bring the king and and create havoc on his position so again uh, here um, I'm promoting uh, eventually I see it right now I, I see that I'm I'm home free uh, because I can uh, check him now with with the pawns and and it, they're unstoppable um, here again he should have played this but it but d8 was is kind of a good move too uh, let's bring uh, the knight man we have so much firepower here uh, it says mate in six uh, in the evaluation uh, I don't think I need six moves to uh, to mate him um, here uh, again I'm uh, creating uh, a check yeah that was a mistake and here's my queen and it's checkmate so it's interesting it's a, it's a cool game um, I, I don't think my um, my opponent uh, played all the best moves obviously he made some uh, some uh, some mistakes but it's it's rare for me to to play with 93% accuracy uh, I don't know all the moves looked uh, very logical it's um, the Trumpovsky attack really suits my style of playing because there's lots of room I find there's a lot of uh, of obvious moves to make they, they, they look very um, logical and there's not a lot of theory to memorize uh, once you you know the first few moves so it's a really good system I you know I encourage you to uh, to play it 
and um, again I made zero mistake zero blunder it's not a habit of mine uh, really this is why I wanted to share this game and uh, I didn't miss any win and I think I made it him uh, faster than what the engine would have done uh, well if if Black had responded properly, I guess it would have been a mate in six, but I made it him in three. Um, and, and he played with 80% roughly of accuracy, so he didn't make any blunder and he didn't miss a win, obviously, but he made two mistakes. So this, this leads to very interesting games. And here's um, a game I'd like to show you. It's, it's considered a classic of... Um, uh, of this type of attack it's by the the man himself by Octavio uh, Trumpovsky against uh, Lucius Enzelin and that was for the 1939 uh, Berlin Olympiad and you know we'll go through it really quickly uh, again I just want to show you the moves because um, eventually uh, you know um, Trumpovsky gets into a series um, that are all the engine best moves and obviously in 1939 you know there was not a lot of computers around it's quite amazing you'll see at some point he gets into uh, uh, like seven moves that are the top engine moves so I I'm impressed here we go it's a very easy system to remember guys look at this that's it we're going uh, into the Tomplavsky uh, system and and look at this other grand master uh, Lucius Enzelin uh, it was from Latvia I think and then after the war he, he went to Australia and he died there um, look at this uh, grandmaster he's, he's he's playing exactly like the opponent i had uh, so again uh, trumpovsky took just like i did <laughs> i was lucky no but this is the recommended move um, and and uh, here that's it like three moves and we're into the trumpovsky attack this is what this Grandmaster played. Now you're always uh, going to bring C4 to this type of uh, configuration, game configuration. And uh, my opponent didn't take earlier, and but the suggestion is from the engine is to take it if you're playing black. Bring out the bishop. And uh, this is how it goes. I, I just want to you know, show you the moves. Black is castling. This is a strange move. Um, it's not the uh, the engine recommendation, but you know it turned out pretty well. You'll see. Um, here we go again. This is not the best move. The engine says you should have uh, played F3 here, uh, but listen, these guys weren't booked up with engines, right? They they played with um, with their own intuition and intelligence. Uh, and here um, again this is great look at this look at the pawn formation you know it's it's sort of favoring white right away I think it's if you start destroying that you have an open target uh, you know you're home free with the uh, with the king and and this is a typical engine move here uh, to push Harry as ginger GM would say and uh, look at the uh, the next sequence here and i think at this point they're all uh, top engine moves here so it really goes uh, very nicely here you've uh, you freed up this file the h uh, h file putting pressure on the white bishop but no problem easy to fence off now he's uh, he's a bit nervous so he brings back the queen uh, to protect from an attack on the h file doubling up the rooks is creating a very powerful sequence and now uh, it's almost alakine's gun alakine's gun would would required the two um, rooks to be uh, in front of the uh, the queen but this is still a very powerful attack look at this check check nice move 
check and uh, I think the opponent resigned uh, here but the game could have uh, continued like this and here you're you're up so much material there's so much material so so it's a very nice game very creative um very simple system it's not uh, complicated so i i recommend that you um you use it and you have some fun with it and there's a lot of videos on the internet on the, on youtube um you know showing the basic principles because um you know, I just want to show you, um, recommend, oh sorry, the screen is a bit off here, uh, but um, learn the Trompovsky attack in 15 minutes um, by uh, by these guys here, they're called uh, Chesscape, is that their name? Yeah, so I recommend that you, you watch this, it's, um, it's interesting. Uh, there's a lot of them and um, I hope you can start uh, winning oh yeah one last thing I want to show you is that um, you know I, I've been playing this uh, where does it say that I've played this uh, five times actually and um, I won the f five games so I, I'm really happy um, that this is working out for me at my level so take care guys, um, sorry I haven't been posting as much as I uh, would have liked, um, but I, I, I want to post I guess a game every week now, so I'm going to get really serious about it. Let me know what you think and if you've played it, uh, how, what your success rate is, but uh, thank you for your attention, <laughs> bye.